Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are heading back into battles with Ice Bloom's year end season, tournament number three, Cold Snapdragon Boosterama. This one seems interesting, of course we did Cold Snapdragon tournament last episode, and now it's the Boosterama version, so let's head into it, see how things go. Really don't know what to expect too much, uh, but we tried a variety of different strategies, but the one that was sort of worked the most was just the coldest one, having the snow peas and the cold snapdragons and the uh, winter mints and stuff. Just sort of seemed to work out. I don't know if we'll need the enlightenment this time, so we can at least make up for that. Um, and I feel like the best way to do that, hmm. I don't know, there's lots of options. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We are going to do, uh, where is it? Somewhere down here. Got that, the winter mint. And then on top of that, we would usually do what? We would do, we sometimes would do Blastberry Vine. We would sometimes do a number of other things. It's hard to say which one's gonna be the best answer now. Um, it's still the same buffs and bruises, so buff to uh, frozen, bruise to explosions. So I'm just trying to think about those kind of ideas, what, what we might wanna most do, most likely to do. Uh, I mean, we could try Power Lily. I don't know if that's gonna work out too well. I mean, we'll be able to get a lot more sun, so I don't think we'll need the enlightenment, but I, maybe what I could do is also just get the winter pulled out, just the winter melon, and see how that goes. On top of it, if I just wanna do something on the side, like maybe spike weed would be fine. Uh, we can try it, we'll see how it goes. Just that way, if maybe some zombies get too far, or even more, if we just want them all bunched up in the same place, that can work out quite well. Um, so I, th I think that for right now, let's not put anything down because remember, it doesn't really get the plant food effect until you place it down. So, or place it down in the actual round. If you do it in the prep preparation phase, it doesn't work out so well. We gotta go get into our right away. So it seems like it's exactly the same as the uh, the tournament, which is fine, or the previous tournament. Uh, we can work with that for sure. But as, as more zombies get out here, we will, uh, Continue just to try some different stuff. We'll try to get more sunshrooms out here. Uh, just like this, and then we'll get the winter mint when things are looking a little bit scarier. We still have plenty of things going on here though, for sure. And yeah, I think the tournament after this is actually the mistletoe, which I've only used a tiny bit, so it'll be fun to uh, try it again. There is some sun. So overall, pretty good so far. And a lot of them are being kept back quite a lot. The problem right now though, that I'm worried about is that not enough of the plants or the zombies are moving out in time. So it makes me think like, I know last episode we were trying some non-frozen strategies and they weren't really panning out very well, but I wonder now with the constant plant food moving in, maybe we can sort of get, give a second crack at that and just sort of see if it goes any better. So we can like go ahead and do the spike weed here. Actually it's not tracking them around at all. Maybe I should try that over here, there we go. But that just sort of brings them back to a spot where they can all get the uh, golden level of damage. So that's always nice. Let's get another Sunshroom like that. And boom, do that. Whoa, -ho -ho -ho, nice. Okay, I just love seeing all those zombies get taken out. The thing is though, that is concerning about this, as I'm sure you see, they're starting to catch up on score here. So I think, you know, maybe now we'll do some plant food. Something like that might work. Um, not as much incoming sun as I'd like. Hmm. Honestly, yeah, this is a little concerning. Let me also do the mint. I don't know why I'm not doing that a little more often. Uh, <laughs> Cause I'm silly, what do you know? Okay, so we're starting to get ahead on points again, which is just something I just need to utilize as much as I possibly can. Um, get that there, get this here. Get more cold snapdragons out in a moment after we grow another one of these. Put that there, okay. So yeah, so far so good, I am taking the lead. I guess I just needed to be a bit more proactive, just constantly placing things down and making as much of a difference that way as I possibly can. Um, over this way, once again, just bringing them all back. Once that becomes a problem, it's very easy to solve it. Uh, most of the time, there we go. Bring that hit back to, oh, that's so satisfying. They thought they got away with something. They ain't getting away with nothing. Okay, so we can dig some of these sun shrooms up and just start putting new ones out there. And that's definitely gonna be a big help. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, another sun shroom. Okay, so it looks like we're about to crack a million, which isn't too bad. It definitely isn't the best possible, but it still is pretty good. 1,023,400 is our first score here. I thought like that's pretty good. 
But is it worth it to freeze, is the game frozen? Okay, the game is frozen and the zombies are frozen. That's a lot of freezingness. So they did something a little bit different there. They did the imp pair, which I've yet to have the chance to check out. Um, the spearmint, uh, shrinking violet, some things I don't even have the ability to try too much, uh, at least right now. I mean, I'll get them eventually, sure, but I don't have them right now. Well, we'll get there eventually. You got four mints, awesome. And let's try this again. That was a fun strategy for sure, just going all in with the frozenness, but I feel like there definitely is something better. And maybe that is bowling bulbs. If I wanna try that again, I don't think it would be that bad of an idea because we're getting plenty of sun, we can make other things work. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, definitely considering that now, just because I feel like it could've worked last time, but it just, it, there wasn't enough to make it click. So we'll try that now. Uh, what I wanna do, is first off get the bowling bulbs, which would be, oh, it's so much harder to find the plants when you don't see the background of them. Um, Where is it? Did I pass it? I definitely passed it. Why do I always pass all the plants? Here it is, bowling bulb. And on top of that, we would need, I mean, we could even do imitator, but I don't know if that would work too much. Uh, we'll do tile turnip for sure, because you know we can use our remaining plant food just to do that. Uh, I think it would still be a good idea. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, on top of that, I mean, I guess the winter mint wouldn't hurt too much. I wish we had like a pew shooter mint. I think that might be a thing, but I don't have it. And if I could do one more thing, what would it be? I mean, I guess we could try something like blastberry vine. I, I don't, this might be actually too expensive. Like we'll try it um, and I will just do this. Actually, yeah, sure. You know what, it'd be fine to do this for now. Um, let's rock with that. I can immediately put a Sunshroom down nice and quick because this Gargantua is gonna show up wherever he shows up. And we can just do that. And now I just need to, for right now, take it upon myself to put as many Sunshrooms down as I possibly can manage. Uh, and also do a bit of that. Get this here. Oh, I put a Sunshroom, I'm being silly. I was supposed to put <laughs> that guy there. <laughs> that was just me being very silly, sorry. Uh, so, we could try to do this for right now. Okay. Could also get that going on, but this is where it can be hard to keep up with sun for at least a little bit. Got it. Okay, get this out there just like that, and uh, keep working on those. And this isn't so bad so far. Got it. Okay, we froze that Gargantua. The Gargantuas are sort of the scary part at the moment, in my opinion at the least. There we go. So I'm sort of starting a little bit behind with this one, but I think that we could like pick up the pace a little bit as we move on. I need to do two more tile turnips. So like that's where that gets a bit concerning. Like maybe four is enough to really make some major stuff happen. So zombies are getting out farther, of course, because of the fact that there are they are not getting as frozen as often. Which once again, I'm not even entirely sure that's a bad thing, because if they get out farther, that means there's you know, more we can do against them, and more that hopefully we'll be able to get out in total. Okay, keep going. Like, I don't know if it's really, like maybe it just isn't worth it to do it that way. Part of me thinks that, like maybe it would just simply be more worth it to, uh, like with the tile turnip. Like maybe it would just even be easier if we just put down with the sun that we would have spent more of these guys. But I don't know, it's, it's hard to exactly say. So our score's okay, but definitely it could be better. I'm gonna do that again. Get something over here set up or something. And that's all of our plant food done. But of course everything is boosted, so we still might be able to get more figured out. Let's get more sun shrooms out. I feel like I've been making a big mistake not really tending to that as much. Because as long as I can just keep putting sunshrooms, like maybe the enlightenment, like maybe I'm being a little bit too abstract with this. Like maybe I should just constantly, like if I just did cold snapdragon, imitated cold snapdragon, sunshroom and enlightenment, and just get so much sun coming in that I simply just, uh, you know, dig these guys up, put them down, dig them up, put them down, over and over again until we just constantly destroy the competition. Like maybe that'd be faster. Maybe that'd be more effective than what we're currently doing. Because it seems to do some good damage when we get rid of these Gargantuars that way. 
So you know what? I'm, I, I feel like that also improved their score a lot. I think that's what I'm going to do next round. Let's make this a whole lot simpler before we start tacking on all these other strategies that I feel like I'm trying to do and I'm juggling too much. Uh, maybe that would just simply be a better option. So I'm going to try that real quick and we'll see how it goes. So there's an, a, an imitated uh, cold snapdragon. On top of that, we're going to do sunshroom and enlightenment down this way and that's right there is just the main strategy on top of that if we want to do some oh what is this ultimato i have not seen this yet huh guess there's another new plant uh i've also haven't gotten the impair i don't really know when we can do that but hopefully that'll be available to get at some point i must have missed out on getting it uh we could also if we just really want to get more sun i don't know if this is necessary but we could do gold bloom and then we could do power lily if it's available which i think it is yep we could try something like this and just constantly sort of barrage them down. I mean, I feel like though, for good measure, we'll get the snow pee out just for some background stuff. If there's a couple of imps got, that get put out or something, it might be good to have that. So honestly, we'll work with that and I will get as many of the sunstreams as I possibly can. And we'll do this to you for now. And that seems to work okay. It doesn't totally freeze you. There we go. But that does, so that's always good to see. We're going to do the same thing to this group. And then set this up there. And this is where we're already getting a lot of sun. And I'm hopefully going to get a lot more. Uh, because I'm just going to... It's going to be a very active round where I'm consistently doing things. but And digging things up and then doing them again. And then again and again and again but I think it'll be worth it overall. So far, so good. I feel like maybe, you know, this, the cold mint would have been better, obviously, in parts of this situation. Okay, I think I can calm down a little bit with the snow piece. I don't need to put those guys down as much, uh, but keep working on everything else for right now. And once, like, it's crowded and not too much more progress can be made in that way, that's when I go back and start digging them up and just placing them down again and just destroy them a lot and just constantly having that repeated onslaught of stuff might be really good for us. Let's do this. Okay, so we do have the Power Lily. I don't quite know how I wanna use it for right now. I guess I could just do that, so I, I don't have to put as much time into uh, digging things up. But that's sort of the idea. The second they get out and they're like, hey, we're here to get some brains, we're like, nope, you're frozen, you're an icicle. Okay, do that. Keep putting stuff down so that we can make the most of it. And then soon enough, we will have the enlightenment ready. Got it. Okay. So far, so good. Let's put more uh, snow peas down. So we're already at half a million. Will we be able to break more than that? Will we be able to defeat the one million points we got at the beginning of today's episode? Wow, enlightenment, that's crazy. I feel like maybe if I just keep at this and go a little bit faster. Because honest, honestly, the cold snapdragon refill is super fast. Okay, that gargantua is down, that one as well. It's getting close. Okay. Um, do that. Not bad. Get another Snoopy back here, because why not? I have plenty of sun coming in now. So that's always good to see. Oh, we're over a million. Can I do better, though? That's the question now with our final eight seconds remaining. It looks like I can just barely break 1.1 million. Almost 1.2 towards the end there. So that was a better score. That is my best score yet, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, obviously, our competition here was quite low with some things. I don't think we need the Power Lily. I don't know if that really did too much for me. So we get an extra gauntlet for our troubles. I think I'm gonna replace that Power Lily for a Winter Mint and just sort of try that again. See if that maybe just makes him slightly more damaging. Uh, yeah, and see how things go. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. 
mostly the same, but a little different. Maybe this will pack a little bit more of a punch so we can get closer to 1.3 or 1.4 million, but I'm not really sure. So far, it looks like at this point, why am I not playing? <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Um, at this point, it's not gonna be all too different than what we already have done. It's just sort of rinse and repeating, seeing if we can't get a better score, slightly optimize it as much as possible every chance we get. Okay, now I gotta play catch up a little bit because I was just, I was talking and not playing. What do you know? <laughs> gotta find a balance in there somehow. Not always easy. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Let's just keep getting more sun shrooms out. Okay, just trying to push back this initial crowd as much as I can. Um, but then after that, it really is just sort of micromanaging it so that we can get as much sun as possible. Once we have a ton of sun, then we just place, dig up, and then replace this cold snapdragons, this time occasionally mixing in a winter mint for extra damage. And honestly, I don't really know how much that actually affects the plant food ability, but hopefully it does to some degree. I mean, there are some zombies getting taken out pretty quickly right now, I think. I am pretty happy with this strategy. I feel like I found something that works that really utilizes the boosterama part of this. And like it doesn't have to be snow pea, but it seems like snow pea is the best bet. I could definitely see this still being doable with repeater or even red stinger or something like that. I mean, feel free to let me know if you disagree. Since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on this strategy? And of course on this tournament in general, what strategy are you using? All that kind of stuff. I would love to hear about it. You guys are always so great with leaving your battles feedback. I always have a ton of fun doing these episodes simply because I, I like hearing your reaction to things. I mean, of course, battles itself is fun. I'm not trying to say otherwise, but you know what I mean. Anyways, will those even reach? Sort of, kind of, but also not really. Um, Maybe I could have waited for that, I don't know. Uh, but I feel like I'm sort of slowing down here, which I do not need. So let's speed things back up, shall we? There we go. Put down a uh, snow pea over this way. Looks very cool. I like that plant food effect. See, we're, we're jumping up and score quite a lot. So I think overall, this was a fairly good idea so far. We're gonna set that up for the last 40 seconds. I mean, it's not gonna last that long, but hopefully it lasts a good chunk of time. And I really do appreciate how fast cold snapdragons restore, because that makes a big difference. It's gotta keep up with all the sun, which is why it's just important to constantly placing more sun shrooms, do something like that. Okay, but even now we still have over a thousand sun. So like we're doing fine, we're doing fine. See, the winter mint's gone. I don't think I'm gonna be able to have another one, but we're doing pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. Keep at it, five seconds remaining. Can we do more? Can we do more? Uh, no. Was that worse than last time? Or was like right around the same? I feel like I sort of slowed down there towards the end, but I could have done better. But it, at this point, it's sort of like fine, finally optimizing it ever so slightly, and I don't wanna do that. That's not the most interesting thing to record. So I think at this point, we've tried that strategy. It clearly works well. Is there anything that we can do better with a different strategy? That's my question now. I really don't know if I really need too much more of the enlightenment, but to be honest with you, we'll just try some different stuff. One of the plants that I don't use enough that a lot of you say that I should use more often is Pokra, that she's very powerful right now, and even then if I have her at a lower level, she still might be able to do good. And that's something I'll keep in mind, because that's sort of the big problem, right, for me, is that obviously, I am still relatively new to the game, it's only been about five or six months that I've been playing, that's when we started the series back in like, what, May? Yeah, for the 10th anniversary of the game. So, since then, I just haven't been able to, you know, like I put in, you know, a good chunk of time, because we're recording these episodes, but there's only been so much time to actually build up levels for the plants. Obviously, a lot of people have been playing for years and years, and I think the level up update's been out for like, what, two years now, I think, as far as I remember? And because of that, some of my plants just might not be as high level. Of course, poker is a plant that recently came out, so not too much of an excuse there, I guess, for me. But still, I just I feel like that's probably why some strategies definitely become way more viable when you have a higher level plant. So actually, I'm forgetting to put out the poker already. I wanted to put her out at the very front, and then the the, the two lanes behind that is when we'll where we'll put uh, everything else. So let's just keep doing that. Okay, freeze you. Yeah, go ahead and squish that Snapdragon for me so that I can go ahead and replace it with a Pokra. Because they will make uh, the zombies go slower. That's one of the big, 
benefits to Pokra is that she slows down zombies. Okay, I need to put down more Sunshrooms here, which we're starting to do. And like some of our Pokras are getting squished and taken out and like that's fine, I think. Okay, so I'm actually gonna let the uh, the Winter Mint like fully restore here and then we'll start doing the cycling of it with the plant food because it's already halfway there. I don't wanna waste the plant food that way if I don't have to. Let's keep getting the pokers out. I mean, the pokers will do a plant food effect, which is pretty cool. Going to get this here, get more sun. Yeah, there we go. I feel like I don't know if this is as productive as I'd like it to be, but I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. Maybe I do need the enlightenment. I mean, my sun definitely has been a little bit lower, but it's it's not like undoable. It's just more difficult. Okay, try that out, and then we'll immediately plant food the mint so that it is available for when we want to use it again. And now a lot of the zombies are getting cleared out. A lot of them. That'll make this a lot more executable, I feel. Okay, so he's gone. We'll set him up again. Just do a bit of that. Get more sunshrooms out. So definitely, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the loss of the enlightenment more than I was expecting I would. So a huge wave is coming in, but we only have 20 seconds. So maybe I waited too long for the frozen mint. But even then, I put a sunshroom in the wrong spot. I um I'm getting a good score here. Okay, again, go 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 go. Get that out. Get this out. Just put down anything I can at the moment because I'm about to run out of time. And there we go, 1.188. So I basically got the same exact scores last time, even though I definitely had way more room for improvement that time. So I definitely think the winter mint's a good idea. Poker isn't too bad. I just need to manage the sun a little bit better. But overall, I had a lot of fun in today's episode. I think I want to leave it at that. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I don't want to go too crazy with all the strategies. Definitely let me know your strategy. I don't think poker was too bad, but get the Hurricane and Banana Launcher experience as well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with overall our performance here. I don't know what our current ranking with the crowns are. Okay, so from here, I think I'll stay in Bronze League. That's fine. I'll worry about it later. For right now, we are going to go back and at least do the pinata party to finish off today's episode. Don't know what's going on with this one, but I will play the event and see what's going on within it. Because these have been fun so far. We're protecting the endangered bonk choice. Got some camel uh, zombies. Oh, potato mines, okay. Might, I guess I, I should set these up right away, or not, maybe not, because I don't want them to go to a place where the potato mines are not. Okay, that should help, because you know, these potato, potato mines take a while to get set up properly. So I'm just trying to be prepared for wherever the next zombie's gonna show up, so I don't misplace it, because who knows when I'm gonna get the next one. Okay, so next one's here. Okay, we need something for this guy on the top if we can get another sap fling, or not. Come on, come on. Really, I'm not getting it. Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting a laser beam though. Okay, well, gotta remember, Bong Choi can also defend himself. I don't know why I'm forgetting that. <laughs> I was just freaking out. I just thought he was just sitting there waiting to be eaten. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Laser beam, oh, I should put a, probably put that in front of the camels because it takes care of them very easily. Hopefully we get another one soon. Come on, another laser bean. Ah, not quite. But you know what, Fumestrom works pretty well as well. We'll do that, because that also has the same collateral goes through multiple zombies kind of thing. Now we can get that set up there. Maybe I should have set up on the lane above that though. Live and learn. Okay, well it looks like it's working out pretty well. We'll get more potato mines set up. Maybe I should have saved that one. I'm gonna save some potato mines. So that a situation like that, if it pops up, we'll be fine. Okay, so so far, so good. These zombies with the presence aren't going nowhere. Oh. We're not going to be graced by their presence anymore, haha. -ha. Sorry, it took me too long to think of a decent pun. If it takes me that long to think of it, it's probably not that good. <laughs> Anyways, so far we're handling this. I honestly think we can start speeding up. Now that we got the saplings and the laser beans set up appropriately, they're just getting slowed down too much. And then, and even if they do get past it, they have activated the potato mines, which I can then just place down again. 
just like that. Okay, maybe now we should slow some things down for a moment. Um, I do have plant food, which I've yet to use. Um, couple things I could do with that. Um, I'm thinking the best thing would definitely be just getting more potato mines out. So, uh, oh, okay, here, do that. Perfect. Our last final wave is showing up soon. Luckily, these gift zombies, they, uh, they jump right past the bong choy, so I don't actually have to worry about it too much there. We'll do one more plant food, just like that. Boom, get rid of a good collection of uh, zombies there. More plant food, which I'll use, I guess, to, uh, well, let's go ahead and sap everything, even though most of the tiles that I, w I want the zombies to walk in are already sapped. Okay. So this seems doable to me. I think we can go back to speeding things up. Put those fume shrooms in a dangerous position. Why not, you know? Okay, and it looks like we've got it. Yes, we do. So that should be a set of presents for us to get in this pinata party. Ooh, not bad, some very festive plants to get. We got some experience for the holly barrier, which we just checked out a couple episodes ago, and the mistletoe, which is also very thematic because next episode we'll be doing the mistletoe tournament and most likely probably mistletoe will be the plant of the week, so we'll showcase it there as well. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.